As the tribe emerges from the dark, wet jungle, the tribe knows not what it will see. Bing. Athena and Miss 76. And something that I don't know what I'm going to see. But we're going to check it because today we're heading up to Mr. Jason's house. Mr. Jason just gave me this stuff right here. I don't even know. I can't read what's under there. But it's, I don't know what brand it is, but it's a fuel tank sealer. And he used it on his old rusty, um, and this is like half full. He used it on his old rusty CB750 tank. And it's pretty amazing. It just turns into glass. So I'm going to do, that's my next step on this, just to eliminate the gas tank problem. Anyways, Miss 76, ugh, it's a whole nother problem. Uh, for now, I'm just going to check Athena. I haven't, um had the bike on the battery tender or anything. I have the old battery on the tender. I'm going to give that battery to Mr. Jordan. And right now I'm just going to do a quick little check just to see what the voltage is at. And we're, okay, we're at 1313. That's a good sign. 1313. Easy to remember. Uh, down in the description below, I will write down what the charge was when I came back. Because Mr. Jason's house is about, it's about eight miles away. So I'm going to ride up there, talk a little story with you guys. Uh, just make a short little vlog, have a little fun. Haven't been on the bike in so long and I'm really itching to just take it for a little ride. Even though it's kind of crippled right now. So yeah, let's bring in the intro and uh, talk some story, bah. Alright, bring in the intro. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tribe, it feels so good to just be on the bike. It has been a while. Unfortunately, even if the bike was running perfectly fine right now, I wouldn't be able to ride it. Because in both of my bikes going down, I was like, ah, I was so frustrated and just feeling so stressed out about it. Didn't know what to do. So I joined the gym. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about the gym for a second. The gym is an interesting place. Never joined a gym before, or never never worked out at a gym before. I mean, little stupid stuff. I mean, I've been in a gym and just like messed around with a friend or something that's been there, but never been to the gym and subscribed to the idea of working out for the specific purpose of either building your body up or increasing your endurance or performance. But I'm on day three, three solid days, three days straight, and I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, hold on, let me retract that statement. I am sore as hell. I don't even know how I can sit on this motorcycle and ride right now. But mentally, I'm feeling very good about it. And I thought, <laughs> I actually thought I was in decent shape. I'm like, all right, you know, I ride motorcycles. I don't just sit on the couch all day. I go out and adventure and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I pull my bike out of a rut and I'll just muscle Athena around. Yeah, she's a 300 pound bike. Yeah, right, right. But after going to the gym for three days, holy smackdown, Batman. Kalani is so out of shape. I'm weak, man. But I hope to get stronger, and it's been a pretty cool experience so far. Three, um, three, two to two and a half hour sessions that were with, uh, I don't know, you guys have met Mr. Keahi before. He's, uh, he runs Mike's retail shop. And he's been going to this 24-hour fitness down here in central Maui for a couple of years now. And he's, you know, him and his friend Mark, they're, they're in it. <laughs> they're deep, a couple of years in. Freaking guy is strong, too. <laughs> so it's cool to be around people that know what they're doing. And I don't know, I, it's, it's kind of interesting because I always viewed the gym as a place where just everybody's, you know, set and they're doing their thing but feeling a little intimidated about even going but knowing that it would be a good thing to do and after going there for a few days 
fuck, it's awesome, man. There's so many people, there's so many different shapes and sizes, people at different levels of health. And it's just a really energizing experience. I don't know, I guess what I'm getting at is I don't really set New Year's resolutions for myself, but uh, this is... This is one of them. I'm gonna stick with the gym for a minimum of 90 days and see how I feel after and see if I can develop those better habits and yada yada, blah, blah, blah. With hopes to, you know, improve riding and endurance and all that stuff. Anyways, that's that's something I've been doing for the last few days. Oh, and I haven't eaten for five days, <laughs> which is kind of counterintuitive if you're going to the gym, right? Well, yes and no. I'm doing a modified juice fast right now. Your body just needs carbohydrates to turn into glucose for the purpose of creating energy and supplying you with enough to lift those heavy weights and then protein afterwards and all kinds of other fun little micronutrients. And I have been doing that, supplementing them with other stuff. I just haven't eaten any solid food and I haven't been... Uh, putting unhealthy foods in my body. That's part of something I'm trying to change too, get a little healthier. And feeling really good about that as well. But oh my gosh, my appreciation for food right now is so stupidly high. I have such a, oh my gosh, I could talk about it all day, but I probably bore you guys. So yeah, it's been, it's been nice. And Athena, I, the, uh, the stator, okay, it's enough gym talk. Um, the stator that's in there right now, I guess it's not working properly. I tried to, I tried to measure between the three, um, the three pickups or whatever, the f three phases, the three white wires, and I couldn't. I don't know if I'm fucking retarded or what, but I couldn't figure out how to set the meter to the proper setting that gives it the right reading, the, the same readings I'm seeing like on YouTube and stuff. I, I'm like to the point where I just want to buy the same Peter meter gauge that the dude is using so I can do the exact same thing, but mine's a little different and it's got all these stupid settings and I'm just like freaking ripping the house apart trying to find the manual for it. Anyways, it's got to be something wrong with the stator or the regulator rectifier. I think maybe one of them is just faulty. Could it be that simple, stupid? Because this particular bike, when it's running and uh, when it's running and you meter it, the battery should be getting between 13 and 14 volts. Anything other than that for this particular bike, and, and something's wrong in the in the circuit. So I'll keep messing with it a little more. I guess for now, even if I can do a vlog like this, ride eight miles or so, it's whatever. I just cringe when I go in the garage because I'm like, ah, two problems that are seemingly so easy to fix, but they're not happening. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's, I'm going to stop and take a picture of Athena and upload it to Instagram when I get to Mr. Jason's house. And what better of a place to do it than this gorgeous park? Giggle Hill right here. This is Giggle Hill. You guys have probably seen it in the distance of other videos. It's the hump that's on the North Shore in Haiku. What? Why is it called Giggle Hill? Well, because in World War II, sailors used to get off the boats and they would all come up here and make a sexy time with a lady and everybody on the top of the mountain, did you see? <laughs> they make the giggles. So, they called it Giggle Hill. Alright, let's... Yeah, we can't really be riding on the park, but... just It's just for an Instagram video. No, I'm, it's okay. Jet, or Instagram picture. Just one. Give me a break. Just one. It'll be fine. We'll just go in the middle of this field. It'll just be oak. Ooh, by those pine trees? That looks pretty nice, huh? Cupcake and I bring Yodi here often. It's really nice and peaceful. And, it's a beautiful place. You can actually hike to the top and stuff. People people play airsoft and paintball up there. Oh, this, yeah, this is looking good right here. I like it. I likes with that dark sky in the background. Ooh, 
so ominous. Question is, do we have homes in the shot or no? Eh. This is good. Okay, let's just keep Athena running because I, I don't know. Hat on there? Yeah, the hat's fine. Oh, she's just all lit up too. Mmm, okay. Bust out the old image making device. Best camera is the one that you have with you. Okay, how's that look? Square? I think that looks kind of cool. Athena just perched with the ominous background. Let's pop one right there. Let's maybe give her a little frontal action. A little frontal action. Instagram, baby. At Accidental Broadcast. I'll just post a link down below if you want to follow the Instas. I take a pretty picture. Okay, we're out of here. This is freaking gorgeous. Kind of just lay down and stare at the clouds for a while. Yummy. Always time for wheelies, baby. What do we got? What does Athena got? She's still got it. She's all good in the hood. She's still a good little girl. Oh, and she goes down. The Jasons CBC. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I saw those four crazy ass straight pipes. Nice, very nice. Flip these little bastards around for a little wicked look. Jason, can I see your meter thing? Oh, okay. Alright, let's see what she's doing right now. Let's leave her running. See what's going down in Chinatown. Okay, what do we got here? Volts. Wait, DC. Yeah, DC. Leave this girl running. Is it not DC? See, I'm so freaking. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing with these things. Okay, wait, let's get a good connection. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, I'm so mental. Okay, positive right there. Where's the one for checking the battery? 20. Oh, 12, 4, 5. See, it's already going down. When I left home, it was 13, 13. It's not starting. It should be up to 13, 14 right now. Yeah, that's what I said. No, I, I unplugged the headlight. So, yeah. It's not getting charged. So each time I start it, that's one more. Yeah. So, okay, 12, 40, 13, 13 to 12, 45. It basically used 75% uh, of a volt. Is that right? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, that's where Athena's at. There it is. Mr. Jason wants to see what he looks like on his CB750. Well, there you go. There it is. There's the look. You like it? You look like freaking Mad Max, dude. <laughs> Your seat is all crooked. It looks all weird on camera.
good. <laughs> Look at this, sounds mean. Sounds mean. just went flat and my bike won't start it's just nothing at all I guess I'll park the bike over here and just walk home from here I'm only about a mile away half mile away oh So the good news is, I'm not too far from home. The bad news is, Athena's back there on the side of the freaking road. And I left Jason's little chickens. Hey little chickens, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. When I left Jason's, the battery was at like 12.5 riding it home from his house. From 12.5 to wherever it went, wasn't enough to keep powering the fuel injection and about a quarter mile before, I guess I put a little clip in of the last clip. About a quarter mile before that, it started that, that, that. The fuel injection was dying. So I'm gonna go home and grab the Super Nissan Nissan machine and come back and pick it up. But I wanna get home quick because in the jungle, bike isn't gonna last on the side of the road very long. <laughs> Guess I can't go on short little rides. And it doesn't help walking up this hill in boots on the fifth day of the juice fast. That's not fun. But whatever, that's how, that's how life goes, I guess, sometimes. I kind of feel like walking with the camera rolling is like I have somebody with me. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. So, let's see if I can, I'm gonna try to take a shortcut up here. And shortcut it to my house. I guess if the shortcut still exists. Mr. Jason actually used to live right up the street here. And we would take this shortcut to go to each other's houses all the time on our bikes. Well, hopefully it's still here. Let's see, you guys wanna see what a little jungle neighborhood looks like? We'll be walking to the end of this road here where that coconut tree is. And if the trail is still there, I'll be able to cut through it and then I'll be about an eighth of a mile away from my house. All right, we're about to find out if this works. As you can see, this just looks like nothingness. Sometimes you just have to charge it. Oh my God, that's a big ass cliff. That's a big ass cliff. Salvation. Oh, there's salvation. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, the shortcut has changed, but it's still here. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, freedom. Freedom. Oh, yes. See that van in the far distance? That's where I'm headed. Okay. We're <laughs> looking kind of good. That was kind of gnarly, but. Oh, shit. I could have just walked down through here. I. Oh. <laughs> 
Look right behind me, there's like a perfect trail right there. Okay, battery's about to die. I'm about to die. The bike's already dead. But I'll catch you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.